Good morning, RGL TV. This is definitely morning. <clears throat> How's everyone doing? Um, this is Rock 617 And up until about a month ago, I hadn't played this game in probably... About 95, so that. <laughs> um, this is... I don't talk about this game a lot, but this game is one of only two Genesis games that I owned growing up, even though I've played a handful because I, I rented a lot for it. But I was a huge Garfield fan as a kid and wanted to play this one because I wasn't sure I was going to be available anywhere else to like just peep out or whatever. But yeah, I ended up getting it as a gift, and I had a lot of fun with it. I think it's got a lot of upside to it. <laughs> Started messing around again a little bit. It's It's still a pretty reasonable little platformer. I will warn everybody, though, there is no lasagna in this game, so best to get you all prepared for that now. I'm going to leave this on the kitty difficulty just because I didn't practice anything harder. So we'll go ahead and bump her up. Hello. Uh, I to press A to exit. All right, so we need to start at 3, 2, 1, go. Do a bunch of cutscene skips here. I gotta give, show some love to Jangle Storm because I spent a lot of time with uh, talking with, about this with him at AGDQ 2020. He ran this game and is the world record holder. So it was really cool to get to talk advanced strats for a game like this that I hadn't really ever messed around with in terms of advanced strats. So the story is this. Garfield gets stuck in the television thanks to this, I guess, newly created supervillain named Glitch. Get out of here, dude. So our levels consist of having to go through different TV shows in order to be able to try to get back. Every level is completely riddled with gimmicks. As you can see, this is clearly a horror movie style stage. We're going to be approaching the supervillain Count Slobula. Our first gimmick is that we have to... I'm going to kill this guy real quick. I'm very low on health. We have to go down to these chambers, and we had I did not want that to happen. The bone needs to go away. A little low. We had to pull on these tongues to be able to raise the stone pillar to get back out. The reason we had to lower those is to be able to just essentially make progress. Because without them, we can't raise these, these walls that are covering essentially what our progress is going to be. Cool offensive health. Almost pointless little thing, but it's what it is. It's awesome face yeah. Boom. Hitboxes in this game are generally pretty advantageous towards the uh, towards the enemies. You can tell I'm getting hit by a lot of silly stuff. Good news is health in this game is incredibly generous. I think a pizza refills your health completely, even though it's just a slice. And as a TMNT player that actually just drives me crazy. Pookie's checkpoints. Um, like that. We don't need it though, because we're going to have full health going to the boss here. So here we have Count Slobula. Clearly Odie in a cape, and he looks great. Speaking of looking great, I actually have to give all the props to the art design in this game. Jim Davis himself, the creator, actually did all, hand drew all of the, uh, the sprites for this game. It just looks so good. It just looks so super duper good. So this is a case of the boss basically giving us what we need to be able to kill him. That's going to be a problem. Yeah, he costs us a cycle. That's really unfortunate. So we have to get rid of the bats or else we... Oh my god, these guys are controls. So if we don't get rid of the bats, they're going to interrupt our ability to be able to jump into the shade to be able to try to hit him. rid of them as quickly as we can. Now we get them to just go all the way to the ceiling. Cool. Should do it, though. Alright, reasonable boss fight. Only takes three hits. Each stage vision with the remote. Come on, guy. There we go. Oh, that's what the hammer is. <laughs> I forgot this is actually a bonus stage. It's also one of the only uses of the six-button controller. I'm actually going to wait this out. Oh yeah, you can hit something like that with that. I thought you did something specific. Also, rip bitrate. 
playing this on original hardware, especially, which I'm currently not, tends to, uh, tends to hurt the bitrate quite a bit, as you can see with all this flying around through static. That bonus stage is mandatory. Like, we can't actually skip that. Move our way up here. I still think the, the whole overworld thing we have here is kind of pointless. All you have to do is just walk to our next stage, and the stage, would, the game would play out exactly the same even if we didn't have that. So I think that's a, a little bit arbitrary, but still here. <laughs> Onto our next stage, we have the Revenge of Orangebeard. This stage has my absolute, uh, hey, what's up, Jangle Storm? This stage has my absolute favorite meme in the game. Feel, feel free to go have everybody go ahead and tell me your favorite letter, by the way. Don't even be shy, just have at it. Because that guy's definitely going to tell you his. Oh god. Um. So for speed strats, you can actually skip a very large majority of this. You can just damage boost your way through the water and just make your way across, but unpracticed like myself, it's a bit unsafe. So I'm good to just keep doing this. Chillin'. Dude is not shy at all. Stage's song is really, really good, too. Aside from the cool skip stuff, this stage is pretty straightforward. Walk right, kill things. Their little wooden sword. Get health when you can. Put a Yoku blocking here. Uh, maybe want that extra life? Yeah, we'll take it. Didn't take too much time. <laughs> you can see that. Hmm, there must be an item there of some kind. Otherwise, why would it be there? We didn't have to use it to progress. Okay. We'll keep sailing our way. A little boring to have to auto scroll, I know. Coffee's great. Coffee gives us invincibility because why wouldn't it? Keep moving right. Turtle time. I also love the fact that we have flying chickens for whatever reason. Tight rope my way across. Don't think I need those bombs. We do need bombs. We just don't need that many. Okay, so I basically hate everything about this room. <laughs> it's um it's got issues. It's it's a platforming section, obviously. We're working our way up and across. And yeah, you could, that's going to be a pretty good indicator of my issues. The collision detection on these platforms is not very good, to put it mildly. Especially when you're having to actually just go straight vertical. You're going to see some issues, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to take one big, at least one big fall en route. Maybe I won't, but we'll see. Music here is really, really good, though. I love this percussion. Damage. Uh, okay. I don't know how that registered as a hit, but it works for me. Ah, uh, Pookie. Real talk, Pookie's always been one of, my, one of my favorite bits of Garfield lore. I love me some Pookie. Kill you. Uh, okay. That was weird. He grabbing the vine canceled my hitbox. That's cool. Okay. Need that health. This top section, actually, what I recall, is probably the most annoying. There's a really cool cliff you can hit that I'm not even gonna go for because I'm not very good at it. But it's pretty simple otherwise. Let's jump, and we did not. I was trying to do that to avoid the vine, but the vine is uh, vine's pretty high. I want to see if the jump was even possible. We'll try again. Pop to the drums while we're at it. I forgot about the random static. Da -da. 
Do this. Yeah, there we go. All right, cool. Second try, we made it. It actually wasn't too bad. Only one, uh, one actual mistake, really. One last quick room before we head to the boss. Just a simple progress to the right. First mechanic of rolling the rock. We don't need to do it, though. But we did it anyway. Boy, monkey. All right, this is just funny. I actually do have to let the thing wake up, right? Yeah, okay, never mind. We got just enough collision detection to get past that. Okay, on to our boss. I believe I have enough projectiles to be able to fight this guy. Just a big version of the skeleton we've already been fighting. I'm just gonna... Chuck bombs at him. Getting pretty low on health here. I don't really like this. Any more health that shows up? It's not. So I can't tell if the parrot has a hitbox? And <laughs> we kill each other on the same hit, of course. Lovely. And everything was going so well. I'm gonna leave that alone for now. That, uh, that clip where it takes you through the platform is not my favorite. Okay. Way simpler than I remember it being. I thought he took more hits than that for some reason. Hmm. I don't remember catching a hammer, but okay. Get ourselves out of there. Quick thing for the bonus stage I didn't mention earlier. Uh, essentially, you want to grab every coffee you can because coffee is the only thing that speeds you up. Because of course it does. Speed me up right now. Wee. Which explains why I died on the previous boss. There we go. Alrighty. Another quick overworld segment here. I do think this looks pretty cool. It's kind of kind of gritty, <laughs> I'll say that much, but uh, I don't necessarily mind how it looks. I just don't see why it needs to be in the game. Uh, at this stage, quick thing I want to mention. My Genesis capture was acting acting up a little bit. I wanted to take it through component, and my component adapter is apparently having some issues, so I'm going to have to get that replaced. The reason this is important is because I did have to end up playing this on emulator, which is what I'm playing it on now. The one upside to that is that this stage has a reasonable amount of potential to soft lock on the boss, but I do have a safe state, so that'll help us a little bit. Anyway, yeah, this stage is ridiculous, especially with the teeth. Uh, what? Okay. I did jump a little bit too early there. I'll take the hit there. Not quite sure I understand that. I'm obviously misplacing or mistiming something there, but I don't remember it being this, uh, this convoluted. We can just go this way. I shouldn't even have to jump from the tree. That's what's going on. That was rude. Both. I also love our weapon here. This gigantic bone. Ride the fish to the top. Uh, poor okay. Nice little bit of collision detection there. I would mildly disagree with that, but okay. Way back up. Okay. We got a straight shot that time. On this way. Need that. Love the animation of the falling bridge, too. Forgot about the... William Tell stuff when you get the, uh... <laughs> when you get the coffee for invincibility. Alright, part two of this stage I'm actually a fan of. Fairly cool skip that I hope I can remember to be able to do. I don't even think I needed this. We have the broccoli cheese fall, which I think looks awesome. Don't actually know if it's broccoli, but feel free to try to unsee it. I'll wait. Because once Jangle Storm said that, I could definitely never unsee it. Way up. Uh, okay. This thing 
so I can go unimpeded. Okay, as I recall, this is about where the skip occurs. Land here. There we go. Okay. This door. It's also the first instance we see of actually going through a door in this game. I think a bit more of that later. Here, just standard go right. Not really a whole lot to talk about, so just I don't know how good this game looks. Colors are just everything. Okay, moment of truth. Here we have our boss. Similar to the other bosses, aside from, I guess, the last one, this guy is going to give us what we need to be able to hit him. There is a chance of soft lock. I really hope that doesn't happen, but we, there's really not a whole lot we can do about it. Either it's going to happen or isn't. Okay, so you basically do have to throw a bone to this guy. Okay, okay, okay. So I recall Django Storm referring to him as Dinoti, which I think is a great name. And then Liz, <laughs> during that same run, Liz read a donation where someone actually gave the proper name of the character, and I don't remember what it is. That was rude. More worried about my health at this point than anything. Uh, okay. That's not good. More cycles of this can't get hit. Oh, okay, one more cycle. Don't hit me! Okay, thank god, I was a little worried there. I was like, did I clutch that out? And then more stuff started falling, and I was like, oh god, no. So we didn't soft lock and we didn't die. I'd call that a win. Oh, is that what we're calling it when the game actually behaves? It's called soft lock skip. Seems reasonable. Cool, cool. Decent stage. On to what is definitely my favorite stage. I love the look of this stage. I love the music in this stage. I love the boss fight in this stage. Everything about this stage is just... It's a good reason to play the game, I think. Feel free to enjoy the music while I go ahead and navigate real quick. Get in there, dude. Snap your fingers. This part's kind of annoying, because... We are going to have stuff to deal with. I also love how the ledge grab gives you iframes. Uh, that was unfortunate. So birds are really annoying in this game because <laughs> if they clip you out of the air, it cancels your jump. Definitely not a fan. Got some health here. Okay, cool. Getting a little worried there. I don't think we're going to need that health because all we have to do is make our way to the left and we're fine. Maybe we should have grabbed that extra life just for good measure, but we're fine here. Okay, so here's our boss. This boss fight's great. There is a quick kill I'm going to go for. For some reason, if you throw the bombs through the right pipe as opposed to the left pipe, he takes double damage. So that's what we're going to hope for, is to be able to land that. Uh, he only gave me three bombs, that's gross. Takes four to kill him. I'm going to go ahead and get what damage I can out of it first. 
That was weird. Did I interrupt the cycle? Probably did. Oh. Okay, not supposed to do that. Get shit away from the stop. Okay, video game. Fight does have some weird rules. Hmm, those do two damage. I did not know that. Okay. Took a couple more hits than I wanted, but... Uh, okay, so that didn't stand close enough to the pipe. That was the issue. Still a short level. Missed the one jump because of that stupid bird, but we got there. Where's my coffee? Reasonable stage. Alright, on to our longest stage, which... I don't think I was to explain this. This stage does have some difficult navigation. In terms of like, I def I, I'm supposed to go this way, this way, and that way specifically. In order to be able to complete it. So there are points where I may just randomly go quiet. Just because I'm trying to make sure I know exactly where to go. Love the headdress though. This is also one of the first stages where we actually have mul um, what's it called? Uh, Multi-tiered use of our weapon, because the torch is come on. Our weapon in this case is a torch. And we actually get to use it to light things on fire. Pretty neat. Some progress. The jump from the pretty far right to this thing. This thing's kind of weird. Have to turn it to do this. Yeah, I'm. This, this thing just has really weird physics. I'm not terribly used to it. it. May take me a few tries to get it going. If I recall, at this point, you have to jump off it on the bottom right to get there. You really need to get it all the way around. Things a bit strange, as you can tell. Maybe you have to jump from the bottom left. No, definitely not. Uh, not a big fan of these puzzle-style platforms. Oh, we had to do it twice. Okay, so at least we know what to do now. Shouldn't be a huge, huge deal. I think it's just some weird physics to it. Sit that down. That's on me. A little dance for you. There we go. We get our checkpoint. Neat. Things are annoying. Probably didn't want to go this way. I have my notes for this too. I don't know exactly which way to go. Out of physics with game. <laughs> Jeez. Game has some weird ones. Go. Oh. Mm. Actually, supposed to go that way. 
<laughs> platform that hits you. Nice. I'm guessing you can't get across that way. Take that just cuz. This is definitely not where we're supposed to be. Okay, just got there a different way. I'll take that. That's probably the slower way, but hey, whatever. We did it. This thing does make some weird noises. But it is a John Arbuckle sarcophagus, and that's just tremendous, so... I'm okay with everything that happens here. It is the longest boss fight, I believe, because there's a lot of things you have to do. You have to work your way up using these hand platforms. Hit that. Hit that a little bit too early. Thing is, this platform goes up and down, and that doesn't, so we kind of just have to do this. Like that torch. Mouth. Bug things are obnoxious. Alright, so that's phase one. Phase two is essentially exactly the same except on the right. Probably didn't want that yet. Bugs are the worst. Uh, where are you going? Definitely should have lived that first. We'll, we'll wait for it, though. I don't know if I want that onk. We can throw those. We don't really need it. Melee is the primary form of combat here. You know you can spring off that. I'll take it. Up. Wait, did I hit that? Oh, duh. I, didn't, I was supposed to hit it five times. It's early. You'll have to forgive me. Too bad though? Okay, now that was bad. I would have never bet money on being able to clip through that wall. That was just silly. Ward off these insects. Essentially what I forgot to do is when you get up to the eyeball, you still have to hit it five times, and I don't even think I bothered to hit it at all, because I, I thought it was done for some reason. So I'll take care of that. I am a bit low on health though, so I don't know what's gonna happen here. Thing does rain down some hellfire. Try to do this a little bit safe. Gonna hit it a bunch of times. Okay, cool. For some reason I thought this thing dropped like, oh, now it does. Like it's exit, I guess. Look a little sketch. Yep, I figured so. I took way too much damage in those first two phases. I don't recall if I had to repeat those or not. Probably do. I'm gonna ignore that because I might need it. The, this boss fight is just so unnecessarily complicated. Uh, don't need that burger. It's also on me for just getting too much healing when I forgot it was even there to begin with. Just the earliest possible apex. This one I forgot. I forgot how you're supposed to be able to do that all in one cycle. And that's definitely on me. I like that. on me. Huh. Didn't know that. If you cancel your... If you do a melee attack in your mid-jump, it actually could cancel, like, any fall animations. Falling animations. If you hit the ground, it's... 
doesn't actually do it. We'll grab that now. Immediately get hits. Story of video gaming. Still didn't get it. Oh, okay, yeah, I did actually. Cool. Got that out of the way. Alrighty. So, have a couple of healing items now, so it should be okay, I think. I'm not gonna finish underestimating because we got one more boss after this. We'll apologize for that. Kill this thing. I was trying to pay attention to its patterns previously, but I, while I can't tell for certain, I believe the firing arcs at which this thing tries to hit you are random. This takes a lot of hits. And that'll finish that thing off. Yeah, the, I will say, I think the room is well utilized in terms of, like, how a boss fight can go, but, man, there's just so much that you have to do there. Not the biggest fan of that, but, do we need to do? Not really concerned about an extra life, so we'll just move on. We'll get some coffee along the way. Uh, what? <laughs> okay. Oh, I didn't want that at all. We're out of here, though. Uh, I guess I gotta go right. Then left. Hmm. It's a bit more zigzag than the rest. This is gonna take us to our last boss chamber, though. We don't have a full stage. We're just on our way to fight Glitch himself. Certainly another boss fight where he gives us what we need to be able to be defeat him. But your finale's out. We're about to end the season. I will say that Glitch has a very interesting sprite in that he, his graphical style is way different than anything else in this game. Very vector-like. I didn't even grab that. So essentially what's gonna happen is we have to push these mirrors and then what he's going to do is he's going to fire a shot into into a mirror and it's going to just bounce off. I of got that one there. A lot of damage there, though. I think that's what it's supposed to be. Great cycle there. Choice. This is where things start to get a little bit tedious because, as mentioned before, uh, if you get hit during a jump, it cancels your jump. And even if you springboard, where you actually need to be able to get like a really high jump, it can just still cancel that. And the double boost is good. Though. I'm just gonna chill here. I go to the other side to try to make this faster, but there's just so much more risk involved to it. I have to. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't understand how that didn't work. This is some pretty bad luck though. On top of everything else. Like yeah, my, my execution definitely could have used some assistance because I forgot about the double jump. I think I had to take a death, though. Because he's just not firing the direction that I want him to. And then, of course, we randomly miss jumps because we're not supposed to. Oh, I'm aware. I couldn't get over there. Try again. This one's weird. Like, I don't know what 
efficient way there is to get over to the right side. I didn't need it, but it'd be nice to know. Music here is also quite interesting. There we go. The double jump boost is so weird. It's certainly a glitch, pun intended. That one I don't quite get. In a way, I think they all matter. Okay, you can't high jump off that. There we go. Uh, okay. Seems unnecessary. So the other issue here is... And this is just a... It's a similar problem I have with Aladdin on SNES, even though I love that game as well. When you do a turn animation in this game and you try to jump in that direction, it actually makes your jump worse. Like, if you're turning from right to left and jump left at the same time, what in the fudge? Then it just... It basically just gives you a worse jump. And nobody wants that. There goes Spastic. Almost there, though. Hoping to be able to hit one of those platforms there. This, there's a ch small chance this finishes him off. Or even have to get back over the left, but we'll do what we can. <laughs> Silly. Okay, he comes up. <laughs> he made me think I was going to have to get that last one. Now I just have to get back up there and be able to ride the remote to the end, and then we'll call time. Just gonna take me a moment. Like I said, the, the collision detection in this game is not great, and there's a reason I don't play platformers very often. Even though I do like this game. Uh, okay. A little rude. But okay. It goes. Alright, there we go. Definitely not the kind of time I would have wanted, but it's finished. Sticks were made. Get these cool little comic stills here at the end to finish it off.